Time to set the record straight again on Foxconn. You can debate whether we should have Foxconn, whether it's worth setting up the infrastructure for Foxconn and the expense and waiting for the revenues to kick in. But here's the deal. Foxconn doesn't exist now. When people say we have better things to spend $3 billion on, the $3 billion does not exist now. We're not taking from one clump of money over here in a pile and giving to Foxconn. This is money Foxconn would not have to pay if they come. They would not have to pay a construction credit if they build and construct enough to get the credit. They would get a sales tax abatement on equipment they use to build the plant, and they would get a payroll tax exemption on money paid out to a certain amount. None of that money would be saved by Foxconn if they don't come here. That isn't money we're spending on something else. That money doesn't exist. It won't exist as if the Foxconn doesn't come. It's contingent on them coming, which means they have to do something. And then in time, we would reap the rewards if they hire people and those employees buy one gallon of milk, buy one bed, buy one car or one beer, we're ahead. In terms of the infrastructure, there could be some other benefits that come from secondary and uh, third level businesses, complementary businesses, we don't know. But if you're going to say it's not worth it having them come, then you're going to be happy that we have zero right now from them because we won't have anything from them unless they do show up. This idea that we have better things to spend the $3 billion on, you should understand we don't have that money now. And we only have it in time if Foxconn actually arrives. Those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can read your house, your kitchen, your bathroom, your basement, or your staircase, make your home feel just like home. We can talk about this and more on The Mitch Hank Show on madisontalks.com.